So I have a pair of um, Sennheiser HD 598 headphones and uh, I got on eBay and one of the channels was not working. Um, so I'm just making a quick video to halfway through here uh, showing how to disassemble the HD 598 headphones and um, repair the wiring. Um, so first of all, um, you've probably seen this in other videos, but to get into the uh, ear cups, these are already disassembled, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. To get into the ear cups, um, you just pry the, uh, pry the pad out, and then there's three screws that you can do. So you take these three screws out. Hard to do with one hand. And then um, very carefully lift out the, uh, the driver mechanism because it's still wired on the inside, as you can see, which, you know, might be one of the problems. If somebody yanked this thing out, then that might be where your brake is. Uh, in my case, the wires all look fine. Um, all the connections look like they're made. And um, just to confirm that there was actually a signal getting to the to the uh, driver, um, and not that the driver itself was blown out, I got my uh, multimeter out and um, checked for a signal at the two little solder joints here, little solder connections. And what I saw was when playing like a music signal or a test tone that there was no signal getting to uh, getting to the driver at all. So the fault turned out to be that the, uh, the wire here, which is supposed to go across the inside of the headband, um, was broken off. And uh, it appeared that um, at some point somebody had um, caught the thing on a, I don't know, caught it somehow or pulled too hard and pulled the, uh, I, I put this little stop notice on this now, but they pulled the, uh, um, this side of the head, uh, of the uh, headphone completely out of the um, headband and they actually broke off the piece that was holding it in place. So if you look at the headband here, this is the good side. If I can get it to focus. Uh, my camera might not focus this close. Anyway, there's a this this little piece here. That's supposed to um keep you from being able to pull the, um, the ear cup all the way out. It should stop it. But on this side, it's actually broken off. There's two parts here, but the part that, uh, that keeps it from coming out is broken off. And you can kind of, you can't see it here, but there was a, you can see where there's a piece of plastic that had broken off in there. So at some point it pulled too hard and, and broke it off and broke the wire. Um, so in order to get these, in order to get it all the way apart, like this headband doesn't even come apart as far as I can see. Um, you just got to carefully pull the, let's see, I guess you can, you can take these screws out. I just put them back in for, for show, but take this little piece of screw here. This just lifts off. It kind of like slots in, slots in there, and then and then drops down. But you can take that out, and then you can carefully pull the pull the uh, two sides out. Just being aware that 
there's a wire that goes, you know, all the way across the headband from the, the main side where the signal comes in. The wire is supposed to go all the way out across the inside of the headband and then connect to the other side, the other channel. And if you pull these guys out of the headband too far, you're going to snap the wire and be back to square one. So, my case was already snapped. Um, what I'm doing at this point is uh, I, I fished a, a kind of heavy duty wire, which is what you see here, on a temporary basis. I fished it all the way through the headband. You can kind of flatten it out like this while you're fishing it through. And then I'm going to um, attach, I'm going to um, attach my little replacement. So I, I just kind of wired up. I just fixed a fixed a little short wire as an extension, and what I'm going to do is fish this through, solder it onto the uh, the good side with the with the actual signal getting through, and use like um, uh, use like tape or um, shrink uh, heat shrink tubing to uh, to keep the um, uh, the conductors from touching, and then um, fish it all the way back through the headband again, and then do the same thing. Attach it to the other channel over here, and then I'll test it out, and hopefully it'll work. Um, by the way, if you open the the other side of the head headphone, this is the side that the uh, the jack is on for the cable. If you take this guy out, same thing, being really careful not to take it out too far to snap the wire. But here you'll see you got the same thing. You got you got you can check to see you got um, your wires connected there, and then you can see here there's an additional uh, connection that takes it to the uh, wiring that's going to go across the inside of the headband. So the first thing to check really is, you know, am I getting, are these wires all connected okay? And am I getting a signal there? So if you're getting a signal there, but you're not getting a signal on the other headband, on the other, on the other side there, then there's probably a break in the wiring somewhere. All right, hope this hopes, I hope this helps somebody, and I also hope that I get this thing back together in one piece. So here I'm almost done. Um, uh, I finished fishing this, this extra wire through the headband. By the way, the piece of extension wire I used um, is, uh, I just cut it off of a piece of crappy earbuds. Um, and um, so I fished it through the headband and then reattached the, um, what channel is this? This is the left channel. So the, the left channel where the actual cable attaches to. Got that all reattached. And then I soldered it here onto the uh, piece that was broken. Before you start soldering, make sure you slide a piece of heat shrink tubing over the wire. So you can slide it back over when you're done. And um, the, um, the wires are enameled, at least one of the conductors is enameled, so you got to heat it up with a soldering iron and some solder to kind of burn the enamel off before you make the, uh, make the connection. So that's all good now. Um, confirm that it's working. Just play some music through and make sure you're getting a signal off of both, both channels. So that's the left. And then uh, this is the right. So all good. Just got to close things up. Good luck to you.